Hello, you're watching a series on Sugar Bites Factory. My name's Tom Cosm, and in this video, we're just gonna be focusing on the morph fader. That's this fader in the bottom left-hand corner here. We simply have a fader, an X, and a record, but don't be fooled, it's not a simple function, it's incredibly powerful. How it works is you have an A and a B state. Each state stores values for the parameters that you've uh, changed in your synth sound or preset. You can move it across, hit record, change a bunch of uh, parameters and it will store those and then you can shift between the two stored states, morphing between things. You get a really cool kind of texture morph between the two different sounds that you've made. So I've got a preset here which just is kind of a simple beat. It's using sequences to uh, make some hi-hats and, and some snares and some bass and stuff like that. But what I'm going to do is, is move it across the beat. Nothing changes because I haven't used this yet. But I'm going to hit record and I'm going to muck around with some stuff. Anything with a dial or a fader or even the points where the uh, source and the destinations are linked can be used in this more fader area. So let's play around and make a different sound. So I'm going to use LFO2 to modulate the hi-hats. I'm going to put that on 16th notes, bring the shape down so it's quite fast. So that's just giving me like a nice steady hi-hat sound now. Let's go into the effects and change something as well. We've got a chorus, a stereo filter, let's bring that up. Okay, so that's sounding completely different now. I'm gonna turn off my record, and as we move the more fader to the left, this is the original, and over here on the B side is the new one we just made. So let's move between the two. So that's a lot of fun to have. Um, remember this morph fader is, uh, can be controllable or mapped via MIDI, or if you're in a DAW, this is automatable. So I've had a lot of fun myself uh, in Ableton Live that I use mapping this uh, to a lane, a modulation main at lane and changing it in my project. One last note is if you actually find a point within the morph uh, fader that you like and you want to keep as the main sound for your synth, so let's try and find one. Say I really like that, I hit the X button and now that becomes my synth. So that is, the Morph Fader does not do anything else now. We have a new sound, we've found a new sound and it's the new go-to point that we can work from. So that's the Morph Fader. Again, simple but really powerful. Have a lot of fun. My name's Tom Cosm and thanks for watching. <laughs>